Paul Felder versus Edson Barbosa is the sleeper fight of this card. I'm very excited for this fight. It's gonna be a lot of kicking and a lot of scrapping. I'm ready for war. Edson Barbosa is one of the best kickers in all of MMA. He's the one fighter in the UFC that has two stoppage victories. You could hear that one. By leg kicks. Wow! He is also the guy who has the very first ever wheel kick KO in the UFC. He knocked out Terry Edom in Brazil with a beautiful wheel kick. Oh my god! But Paul Felder is a beast. The technique that that guy displayed when he knocked out Danny Castillo finished him off with a spinning back fist KO. Oh! It was about as good a performance as you're ever gonna see any fighter ever have, ever. Unbelievable! Oh my goodness! If you give him one opportunity to finish, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna kick his ass for sure. I just always feel like I've been one of those guys that's gotta go out there and get cracked a couple times, and then the uh, South Philly comes out of me and I just wanna tear the guy's head off. The two of them together should make an amazing fight. These guys are going to war. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight, the Brazilian, 29. Fighting Philadelphia native Paul Felder, 31 years old. Edson Barboza will have a four and a half inch reach advantage. Once again, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Ten wins, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul the Irish Dragon Felder. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, 15 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Nova Freiburg, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number seven ranked lightweight fighter in the world, Edson Junior Barbosa. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Robert Madrigal. Robert Madrigal, our referee. There is the beautiful Vanessa. Back-to-back -back battles at 155. Barboza and Felder. Here we go. The Irish Dragon, he is in the white trunks. Edson Barboza, who moved from Brazil to the U.S. in 2009 in the black trunks. Barboza just missed with a big right hand. Felder throws to finish every time, showing the potential spin. Both men can land from all kinds of different and crazy angles. And both men very respectful of that ability as well. For sure. From their opponent, you see them measuring each other here. Good leg kick by Felder. Felder and Cerrone have become very, very close. Good body shot. Now, coming into this fight, you expect it to be a striking war, and it may turn out to be that, but the one per oh, nice switch kick by Barboza. The one person that may have the advantage is the one who decides to switch it up. That was a good left hook by Felder, and a right hand behind it. That left hook might have stung him. Felder's 10-0. This is his third UFC fight. Barboza has earned five bonuses, Ooh. and that's a nice switch to the ribs. It's so and fast. Again. And again, so fast. Quick twitch, dangerous. There He's is some swelling on the right yeah, eye, though, Joe, of that, Barboza. Yeah, that left hook definitely did some damage. He's as quick as we have in the UFC. And so powerful as well. It's not just speed. When he lands, he lands hard. And his technique, his kicking technique is wow. as good as it gets. Oh, Mark, yeah, his, his eye is swelling quickly. Yeah, it is. He may have uh, something seriously wrong there if it's swelling this quickly. Look at his eyelid. Yep. Wow. We can quick. see it from our broadcast position. Just a minute or so in. And that is already affecting. Oh, looking for that it's spinning third back time. to the body. Already affecting his vision for sure. It's going to mess with his peripheral. And Felder has a nasty left hook. Yep. He's going to have a hard time seeing that coming. And the spin, he generally goes towards that right side. Mm -hmm. 
He switches things up. Felder works his striking with Henry Smith. Same coach as Cerrone uses. Excellent coach. Yep. Ooh, looking for the elbow there. Stepping in with the elbow. Felder getting loose early. Barboza works his striking with Mark Henry. Again. There's that spin. That's four or five already, Joe. The spin was nice, but the switch kick to the body before by Edson was nice as well. And Felder can't take too many of those. You're already seeing a, a large welt on his side. See that? I mean, you literally can see the imprint of the shin of Barboza across the right side of Paul Felder. Keeping that arm tucked. There's a hard right yeah, kick. And he just ate Barboza. it. Didn't check it at all. He just said, all right, bring it. Cowboy watching very closely. Felder, one of only three men in UFC history to finish a fight with a spinning back fist. Another hard left. That one was checked. That checked hurt. it and that hurt him. Yep. By checking and he blocked it with his shin. Wow, Barboza with that switch on that left kick. So nice. Ripped one to the body there as well. Paul Felder Whoa. gets an answer. Oh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> Love it. He said, nice, you hurt me. And oh. again, spin. Oh. oh, he went to the, oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. That is such a powerful kick. The worst one you ever want to get hit with in the cup. I mentioned earlier they both can spin. That one, unfortunately, was low. The, that is such a much more powerful kick than the standard kick that you see guys get hit with low. Oh, my goodness. It's one of the hardest kicks you can throw. To get hit with that low is so unusual. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before in, a, in an MMA fight. Joe, let's bring in Mark Ratner, our VP of Regulatory Affairs. Mark. That's a uh, an accidental uh, low blow, a very, very hard kick. Uh, if perchance this fight could not go forward, then uh, we, we would have a no contest. It's so, it's so early in the fight. You have to go two full rounds. But they'll give him the uh, full five minutes, and uh, I, I, I believe he'll be able to continue. Mark, accidental, unintentional, obviously. Absolutely, accidental. Mark Ratner, our VP of Regulatory Affairs. Barboza will get a warning. He certainly wasn't aiming there on a spin. Paul Felder knows that. That's beautiful sportsmanship right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. These guys are going upset. into a spinning contest, though. Yeah. Barboza with two. Well, what Barboza was doing was an unorthodox technique of using a spinning heel kick to the inside of the leg. Andy Hook style. Felder is a tough Ooh, dude. That switch kick is so beautiful. The Irish dragon. Look at that face. Determined to finish the Brazilian. Again with Ooh. the spin. Felder looking for the wheel kick off the left, stepping in with it. Felder, a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. These guys are very exciting, versatile, entertaining with the spins to win. Both of them have one. The wheel kick from Barboza, the back fist for Felder against Castillo. Again, Shoney Carter, John McDessey, and Paul Felder spinning back fist wins. Only three in UFC history. Felder might be going to the well with that a little bit too much. He's nowhere near it. Caught that one in the elbow. Yep. You can hear the crack though still. Nice step in knee by Felder, very nice. Felder is a extremely powerful fighter. Got the legs of a football player, oh. the spin and the counter. Felder's also very diverse in his striking. You really don't know what he's gonna attack with. One moment it's a switch knee, then it's a punch. Round two, let's go. Round two. Entertaining round one. All it takes is one big one, Ooh. as we've seen already tonight here inside the Octagon in Chicago. They exchanged leg kicks and Felder with a spinning back kick to the body. He's really mixing it up nicely. Barboza started his Muay Thai training at age eight. There oh, it is. Beautiful spin to the body. So fast. You get so much torque and momentum with those 
spinning techniques when they land, Joe. Felder is one of those guys that you hit him and you hurt him and he bites down on his mouthpiece and he gets very angry at you. He even he said it in the feature. He said, you know what, sometimes I got to get rocked first to really get into a fight. So you think you're doing damage, be careful what you wish for. Well, many people thought that his best chance coming into this was to turn it into a brawl. Whereas Barbosa is very technical when he's gotten in trouble. It's been from brawl. Oh, he got tagged with that spinning back fist. Beautiful one. Barbosa, 10 wins by knockout. And he has the edge in total strikes thus far. Both men landing significantly, though. Three and a half. Oh, my goodness. Both men throw the kick at the same time. Cruel intentions, indeed. Felder so extremely focused. 31 years old, finally where he wants to be in the UFC. He wants to make a huge statement tonight. And it would be one if he's able to knock off Barboza. Good head movement there. Looking for the right hand. Barboza misses with the hook. Nice leg kick. Whoa. Take a listen. Wow. And try to understand at home how much that hurts Paul Felder. And the fact that it landed in about a third of a second. Yep. If that. Fake the spin. Led with the elbow. Just past the midway point of this great stand-up pass. They wow. both spin at the same time. And no one has even thought about a takedown. Plain and simple that time. This is essentially a Muay Thai fight with MMA gloves. Yep. Oh, good checks. Two good solid shin to shin checks in a row. Almost like Capoeira back. The way these guys come from all different angles and all different ways. Again, with that leg kick by Barboza. Barboza is so good at sliding backwards and then throwing that leg kick. And blood on the right side of the face of Barboza. There's a spinning elbow from Felder. Cerrone, oh, octagon side. He just it. barely that, missed him, landed on his back. Oh! That's the kick that finished Terry Adam, one of the greatest knockouts ever. Good left to the body. Barboza's having real trouble. Barboza shoots. He's having real trouble with that eye, Mike. It's very, very badly swollen now. And Joe, that's a big statement made by Barboza that he thought about taking this fight to the mat. Well, it could be just to open up that possibility to make Felder think about it, which gives him more opportunities to strike because it makes Felder think and worry about what's happening next. And George St. Pierre is one of the best takedown artists ever, one of the best fighters ever, it was so effective because he never knew what he was gonna do. And he used the takedown to set up a lot of strikes. The threat of the takedown, as dangerous as the takedown, itself most often in MMA. It overloads the mind with possibilities. And as soon as a fighter starts thinking about all sorts of different things that can happen, they hesitate. When a fighter's comfortable and relaxed, that's when they can be at their best. Felder, good combinations. Felder nice with a knee. knee, beautiful knee. Felder the aggressor here late in the round. And Felder is swinging for the bleachers. Barboza, Woo! oh my goodness. Oh man. That switch off the right arm, and another swing and a miss. It's almost like Barboza wants to prove a point by knocking him out with a spinning back fist. Should be in the matrix. This is a wild fight, just as wild as we expected. Look at the right side yeah. of Paul Felder. I just saw that too, Joe. With that wow. nasty switch kick. Barboza being very successful with those kicks. He might have the fastest switch kick I've ever seen. Or not seen. <laughs> Until it's too late. <laughs> right? Just beautiful technique from both men. 
And as you mentioned, unbeaten Felder trains with Daniel Gracie in Philadelphia. Barboza with the Henzo Gracie team in New Jersey and New York. Again, good kick to the body by Barboza. Barboza more effective with the kicks, in my opinion, especially with that switch kick to the body. It's landed so many times cleanly. And that right eye, Joe, still swollen, but not as much as it was early. Some of the blood we saw coming out may have brought down that swelling. Body strikes all about Edson Barboza. And note how Felder is keeping that right arm pinned to the side of his body. Oh, yeah. He doesn't want any more of those. I mean, he most likely has some serious damage underneath that arm. Wow, they are winging. Wow. They showed a lot of mutual respect as we came back, Joe. And this has been exactly the fight we hoped it would be. Two very flashy and effective, dangerous strikers. And Mark Henry in Edson Barboza's corner was telling him that if you see Felder spin too much and you know it's coming, take him down. So they want to give the threat of the takedown. He's standing sideways there, which may think, yeah, he's, he's changing his stance a little bit. Yep. And that could indicate frustration. Nice straight left by Barboza on the switch. He's got that Taekwondo background that we mentioned, Joe. This is also his real first shot at the big show. Yeah. Danny Castillo was his first big name opponent, but this is his first shot on Fox. I mean, this is a huge, huge opportunity for him. And this is, without a doubt, one of the best fighters in the world at 155 pounds that he's facing in Edson Barboza. Barboza, 29. Felder, the Irish Dragon, 31. Barboza, again, looking at, for that spinning back kick or turning side kick, but coming up short. Just about to the midway point. Now we are there of this third and final round. They seem to have a good handle on the swelling on that right eye. They've got it under control. Yeah, that's what I oh, mentioned earlier, Jay. You, could, missed that you could see it was a little better. Yeah. It's that end swell, that piece of metal. That, oh, again with the switch. Brutal switch by Barboza. Watch for the elbows of Felder. He tried to step in and throw one there. I think there's a speed disadvantage or advantage for Barboza. For sure. That's playing in this fight as well. That's generally the case for Edson. He's such a great athlete. Under two. In his corner, Barboza's corner, is calling out to him saying that Felder is breaking. And they think he's, he's not trying to win anymore. Barboza was beaten by Cerrone in 2014, so Felder not only wants his own win, a little revenge for his good friend and training partner, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. 90 seconds remain. Let's see what these guys have left. A bit of a mouse forming under the right eye of Felder. Doesn't seem like he's getting in the way yet. Oh my, again he looked for that spinning back fist. Let's see the difference in the power of the switch that Felder produced there, as opposed to the one that Barboza's been landing. It's pretty evident. Both corners yelling one minute. Henry Smith, Mark Henry, the striking coach's cowboy on his feet. Uppercut by Felder. Barboza's got Felder's timing down. Well, Felder's just not as fast as him. Yeah. He definitely has his timing down, but Barboza can hit him before Felder can hit him. Not with the punches. Look at this. Looks for the clinch. With the punches, they're fairly similar, but with the kicks, there's a giant advantage for Barboza. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is standing right in front of him, yelling out instructions to Felder. Not much time, though. 20 seconds left on the clock here. And Barboza breaks away. Ten seconds! He tried to sweep the leg. Yes, he did. Sweep the leg, leg Danny. Barboza. Oh, Barboza just missed that head kick. Great fight. Paul Felder, Edson Barboza. Entertain all here in attendance in Chicago. Back inside the house that Michael built, we check in with Bruce Buffer to see who has earned the victory between Felder and Barboza.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Edson Jr. Barbosa. Great fight. Disappointed Paul Felder defeated for the first time ever. Huge respect between these two men. The Irish Dragon disappointed. Edson with Joe. Edson Barbosa. First of all, Edson, what a fight. What a wild fight to watch. I got to tell you, I've, I don't know how many fights I've watched over how many decades. You have the fastest switch kick I've ever seen in my life. That was beautiful. And that was a big key to your victory in this fight. You were landing that switch kick and eating up his body with it. Yeah, I trained this a lot. I know he's an excellent striker, but my, I train with the best guys in the world. And thank God, man, one more video trained so hard for this fight. And I can't wait. I can't wait to step out again in Octagon. And props to Paul Felder as well, because that is one tough kid. And this was an excellent contest. This is a good victory for you. What would you like to do next? Of course, that's great victory. Everybody see this very, very tough guy. And I hope you have seen give somebody on the front of me in the rank. And I'm ready for this, man. Uh, now I never feel like that before. And I'm ready for big, big wars in the cage. Beautiful, beautiful performance tonight. Thank you very much. It was an honor to call. Edson Barboza, ladies and gentlemen.